Good morning, and uh, I am excited this morning to be here with all of you uh, to announce a major economic development project in Ascension Parish. I want to welcome everybody joining us today uh, for the big news, especially Mr. Safi Gassimi, uh, Chairman, President, and CEO of Air Products, LED Secretary Don Pearson. Thank you, Don. Uh, we've got the Ascension Parish President, Clint Cuomo. Thank you very much for being here. And then the Baton Rouge Area Chamber CEO, Adam Knapp, and obviously some others as well, including, I believe, Representative Ken Brass, uh, and Senator Eddie Lambert and Senator Ed Price. Very good. Uh, thank you all for being here. We're here today to announce a significant investment. Uh, and, and I'll get into the details a little bit more and then you're gonna hear uh, more from Mr. Gassimi. Uh, but we're talking in the billions of dollars uh, to create uh, 170 additional high paying jobs, not counting uh, the construction jobs, uh, but it's really more than all of that. This project represents a tremendously important step for our ongoing expansion into clean energy opportunities here in Louisiana. As we seek to continue to draw in investment dollars to create jobs, to be leaders in energy, but also to reduce our carbon footprint. And it's projects like this one that make all of that possible. And then you move from what was theoretically possible to very concrete uh, steps in order to actually make it happen. And so this is an exciting day for all of us. Um, Air Products has decided to invest four and a half billion dollars to develop a clean energy complex near Burnside in Ascension Parish, which will be the world's largest permanent carbon dioxide sequestration endeavor to date. This blue hydrogen manufacturing complex will be released into the atmosphere, the most significant source of human generated emissions that contribute to climate change. And this complex is gonna keep almost all of the carbon dioxide it generates, about 95% out of the atmosphere through this capture and sequestration process. We are intensely committed here in Louisiana to reduce one or the other. We believe that when you have people who are committed and they are in good faith, uh, that, that these things can be done when you apply the 70 new direct jobs with an average annual salary of $93,000 plus benefits. Uh, manufacturing jobs, as you all know, have a significant multiplier effect for our economy and LED estimates that this project will result in about 413 new indirect jobs. So we're talking close to 600 new permanent jobs uh, for Ascension Parish and for uh, the region. Further, estimates project that there will be more than 2,000 construction jobs over three years uh, as this project gets underway. We expect the complex to become operational in 2026. And so no matter how you slice it and dice it, this is a big deal. It's a big deal from an economic development perspective, the investment, the job creation, but also uh, for what it represents in our effort to reduce our carbon footprint here in Louisiana, which is exactly why I created the Louisiana Climate Initiatives Task Force last year to find ways, working with all the stakeholders, academicians, industry, state and local government, all the environmental organizations as well, to find ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide obviously create to, uh, I'm sorry, contribute to hotter temperatures, rising sea levels and more intense hurricanes. And there is no state in the nation more affected by climate change than Louisiana. And so there's no state where it's more important to pursue the types of opportunities that we're seeing coming to fruition today uh, than Louisiana. 
To help avoid the effects of climate change, we've set a goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by the year 2030, by 40 to 50 percent, and by 2050 uh, to 2005 levels. That's that net zero that you hear about. Uh, and that is a tall order, but it is achievable. But it's only achievable if you take concrete steps, and that's what we're announcing today. And we know it won't happen overnight, but it is exactly the right thing to do for our state, for the world, and it's the right thing to do for our economy. This is going to be very good for families here in Louisiana, and it will increase, improve, I should say, our quality of life. So we're on our way with several large-scale projects in the renewable fuels and renewable energy sectors on the drawing board. Many projects have already been announced. Uh, this won't be the last one that you hear about. Uh, and in fact, you know, in recent months, we've seen plans to uh, have major projects in renewables in West Baton Rouge and Caldwell and St. Bernard, St. Charles. Just yesterday, we marked the expansion of the REG biodiesel uh, 